Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Marcelo, and this is Chris, and we are here in Boston. We teach English in Boston. And if you want to come here maybe one day to learn English, you could also watch some movies that were shot here in Boston. So, Chris and I were going to talk about 10 movies that we recommend for you about Boston. And I'm going to start talking about a movie that I like. A lot, which is The Departed. The Departed is a movie casting great actors. Leonardo DiCaprio. What else? Who else? Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Alec Baldwin. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Even Vera Farmiga, the, the, the girl from Mo Bates Motel. Many people. It's a great casting and it talks about Boston a lot, talks about corruption. Police corruption kind of shown kind yeah. of a uh how even the city police and the state police can have kind of their own different levels of corruption and their own yeah. disagreements amongst each other, even though they're both police departments. It's a really good movie, and it has one of the greatest plot twists in the end, so I really recommend it to you. And you know who we forgot? Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Oh how my god, this is Jack a crime. Yeah. I can't believe I did this. <laughs> like the greatest actor of all time. Okay. Uh, next movie, uh, my favorite Boston movie. I think before Boston movies became a thing, Boston movies, there was Good Will Hunting. Uh, ben Affleck and Matt Damon, they wrote the screenplay together and they, they grew up together. Uh, Matt Damon's from Newton and then um, Ben Affleck's from Cambridge, but they met together in film school here in Cambridge and just started writing the script together where Matt Damon is a genius but he grows up in an orphanage from a, um, a kind of underprivileged background. Um, and he knows he's smart, but he has a lot of problems fighting on the street. He likes to drink, he likes to party. Um, but Robin Williams comes to his aid as his therapist to try to get over some of his problems so he can kind of really show the world his, his beautiful mind. And Robin Williams kind of helps him relax a lot of his street problems to, to develop the young Matt Damon. Uh, and it's a beautiful movie, kind of about um, kind of the differences of you know growing, out, uh, growing up poor in South Boston to trying to move out of the ghetto and into a prosperous life. Good Will Hunting, Oscar award winning, my favorite Boston movie. Now I'm gonna talk about a movie that I like a lot, and if you're a Brazilian, you are kind of familiar with this movie because it, in, if you have Globo in your house, you probably saw this movie in Sessão da Tarde, which is called Pitch Fever with Jimmy Fallon, and he has his own show now, Jimmy Fallon, Tonight with Jimmy Fallon, and also Drew Barrymore, uh, an actress I like a lot. And it talks about how the Red Sox, which is the baseball team here, really makes people crazy. They really love the Red Sox. And it talks about how Jimmy Fallon, his character, loved the Red Sox so much that he couldn't, you know, keep his job and Drew Barrymore was so attractive, but he, he just loved the Sox more than her. It was crazy. And Drew Barrymore was like, Jimmy, why don't you just forget about the Sox? I'm here for you. And Jimmy's like, nah, I prefer Big Poppy and <laughs> the rest of the guys <laughs> over you. So it's a great movie. It's uh, a romantic comedy, right? A chick flick. Uh, another good one, uh, Black Mass. Uh, Black Mass is about maybe Boston's most notorious gangster ever, uh, Whitey Bulger, who um, made a pact with uh, someone who grew up in the same neighborhood that Whitey Bulger literally controlled, South Boston. And he made a pact with uh, this one FBI agent that Whitey Bulger would become an informant or a snitch or a rat on other mafia uh, groups in Boston and other gangsters in exchange for immunity. So it kind of shows how powerful Whitey Bulger became when he was able to create this relationship with the FBI, but at the same time becoming a snitch. It shows a lot about the different parallels of uh, crime and police corruption here in Boston. Next movie, Mystic River, starring Kevin Bacon, um, Lawrence Fishburne, and Sean Penn, who won for Best Actor. It's the story about three boys that one day they were playing um, outside, you know, they were playing on the street, 
and a car drives by and a guy leaves the car and says he is a uh, police, a cop. And he tells one of the boys to get in the car with him because um, he was arrested. And the boy believed in him. So when the boy goes in the car, this guy sexually ab abuses the boy. The boy gets sexually abused by the guy. And 25 years later, these three friends, they get together again. And the story goes uh, from there. It talks about um, sexual abuse and how this is a real issue in the lives of people. It's, it's a great movie to watch, period. Kind of very much connected to Mystic River Spotlight talks about the Catholic Church sexual abuse scandal where for over a generation um, Catholic priests in Boston were sexually abusing um, young, usually boys and um, when a priest was reported to be abusing one of the children by one of the parents to the archdiocese, the archdiocese, the guy in command of all the priests, Cardinal Law, would just move a priest from maybe, you know, um, maybe a church in Boston to a church in Lowell. And so he went to Lowell and what did he do? He kept abusing kids. And it became this vicious, sick, sick cycle. And, um, the Boston Globe was able to find out about this and they reported this information and they put the Catholic Church in the spotlight, creating all this attention on them. And it's a very powerful movie that won Best Picture a few years back. I'm going to talk about two movies that are related to the very same subject, which is the Boston Marathon bombing that happened back in 2013. <laughs> that happened back in 2013. And the movies are Patriot's Day, starring um, Mark Wahlberg, and Stronger, with um, Jake Gyllenhaal. They both talk about the same move, the same, the same event, but with different perspectives. Patriot's Day talks about a cop, and he was there in the day of the bombing, and how he helped um, solve that case, and how he helped the police get, actually, uh, you know, the FBI get the two guys that uh, committed that atrocious act and also and stronger talks about this bomb marathon bomb this Boston Marathon bombing survivor uh, which is played by Jake Gyllenhaal and his struggles to move on from that terrible event the whole city became yeah, yeah. a lot stronger with the whole Boston strong kind of mantra you know people were able to mobilize and come together and create this this pride for our city the town the town it is um, one of my favorite Boston movies. Um, my father lived in Charlestown for a long time when I was a kid. I spent all the weekend, my, all my weekends over there, and so I'm very familiar with the neighborhood. I love the neighborhood. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Um, but the town is about some townies, people from Charlestown who are a bit of mass holes, kind of that Boston accent, tough guy type. But um, they, um, they, Ben Affleck plays uh, your everyday average uh, Bostonian townie nice guy, but he robs armored trucks and banks for a living. Uh, and it's kind of about Ben Affleck, whose father himself used to rob banks and uh, sell heroin as well. And it talks about Ben Affleck living that lifestyle, but not wanting to be in that lifestyle, wanting something more and wanting to, to live a good life. And then Manchester by the Sea, it's about uh, Casey Affleck plays the father uh, of a baby that uh, dies in a burning of a house and uh, his relationship with his wife kind of falls apart and, and it's a drama kind of about just life and how, how do you live after your baby dies and what do you do can a relationship stay together or they still have that love for each other and it's about you know two everyday Massachusetts people trying to move on after a, a major tragedy. So Boston is a, a beautiful city known all around the world, even though as far as size goes, it's a pretty small city. But Boston is a famous city, historical city that many people have filmed a lot of movies here. And so there's a lot of cool films to watch to learn more about the culture, to practice your English, and to maybe try to identify yourself a little bit as a Bostonian. So you can definitely watch some movies and say, hey, I swear I've been there before, because Maybe you live here and you've seen it now in a movie, so definitely enjoy some good films. All right, guys, so hopefully one day we're going to see you in class, all right? Peace.